What is up my friends, welcome back to your average gentleman, it is your boy Evan. In today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing two pairs of Thursday loafers. The hands-on loafer in Old Town, which is actually a pair of boat shoes, and the Lincoln loafers in Natural. This is not a sponsored video, I reached out to them and they're kind enough to send these to me for free, but I can also say whatever I want with these loafers. Although I am a big fan of their boots, I will do my best to give my most on biased opinion. So without further ado, let's begin. As you can see from the intro, there's really nothing much about the box. There are a lot of paper stuffings in the box and in the shoes, which pro tip right here, I always love these stuffings because they act as a super cheap and convenient version of shoe trees. Keeps the shoe in shape and absorbs the moisture away. Inside the box, there's also a Thursday fabric shoe bag for each pair of shoes, which is a nice touch. But anyways, let's get into the main course, which is the shoes. And as always, the review and comparison is going to be based on its aesthetics, comfortability, durability, versatility, and affordability. And first up, let's talk about its aesthetics. The Lincoln Loafers has a very sleek and slim silhouette with a narrow toe box. Check out the side view, very sleek and streamlined as well. The hands-on loafers or the boat shoes has a chunkier and a more rugged silhouette with a boxy toe box. Here is the side view, nice and slim from the side. Aesthetic wise, I like both actually because both has their unique characteristics and it is fit for a different type of occasion and dressiness. Although both are considered slip-on loafers, they are super convenient to put on and take off. The Lincoln loafer is definitely dressier, with a super minimalistic penny loafer design which is laceless. Whereas on the other hand, the hand-sewn loafer or the book shoes is a much more casual with a thick hand-sewn threads and leather laces on the upper. Another main difference between the Lincoln Lincoln loafer and the hands-on loafer is the soles and the heels. The Lincoln loafers has a leather outsole with rubber studs for better traction. The hands-on loafers has a chunkier rubber outsole which is great for traction as well. The hands-on loafers have a thicker sole and a higher heel than the Lincoln loafers which is definitely a plus because I mean who doesn't want to gain a little bit of a a few more centimeters or inches of height. The Lincoln loafer has about 2.6 centimeters or 1.2 inches of heel height, whereas the hands on loafer has about 3.5 centimeters or about 1.4 inches of heel height. So, in terms of aesthetics, both the Lincoln loafer and the hands on loafer look fabulous in their own ways. So, I'm gonna be giving them both a 9 out of 10. Next up, let's talk about its uh, comfortability and sizing. Let's talk about the sizing first. I don't have narrow or wide feet. My feet are pretty much standard. So for the Lincoln loafer, I am wearing US size 9. And for the hands-on loafers, I am wearing US size 9.5. In comparison to my other shoes, for all my Thursday boots, I wear US size 9. For Adidas NMDs and Ultra Boost, I wear US size 10. For my Converse Chuck Taylor, I wear US size 10 as well. For my Vans slip-on, I am a US size 10.5. For my Timberland boots, I wear US size 9.5. And for my Red Wing Iron Rangers, I wear US size 8.5. In terms of comfort, the Lincoln loafers definitely feels very snug, especially the toe cap area when I first put them on. It took me one whole afternoon of wearing it to break it in, and then after that, it started to feel pretty comfortable. It also has a cork midsole, so it will conform to your feet over time. For the hands-on loafer, it felt comfortable right off the bat, I guess because I sized up half a size for this one. And also because it has a very roomy toe box. So if you have white feet, the Lincoln loafer might be too slim for you, but the hands-on loafer should still be comfortable. So in terms of comfortability, I would give the Lincoln loafer an 8 out of 10, and the hands-on loafer 
a 9 out of 10. Okay, next up, durability. The Lincoln Loafer comes in a Chrome Excel top grain leather. The Hanson Loafers comes in full grain leather, both using top tier leathers, which will last a very long time. Lincoln Loafers feature a Goodyear welted construction, super durable, and it can be resold. The Hanson Loafers come in a Hanson construction. It didn't state if it is Goodyear welted, but I assume it can be resold as well. Quality material, quality construction. Thursday Boots has a great track record, so I can foresee these two pairs to last a very long time as well. So for durability, I'm going to be giving both an 8 out of 10. Up next, let's talk about its uh, versatility. The Lincoln loafers are definitely dressier than the hands-on loafers. It can be worn with anything from formal all the way to casual. So it is probably one of the most versatile footwear. The hands-on loafers or the boat shoes are much more rugged. So in terms of versatility, I would pretty much only wear them with jeans or chinos, nothing formal. I would definitely do a video on how to rock these loafers and these boat shoes so stay tuned for them. So in terms of versatility, the Lincoln loafers get a 9 out of 10 and the hands-on loafers get a 6 out of 10. Okay, up next, let's talk about its affordability. The Lincoln Loafers retails for 168 USD. The Hands on Loafers retail for 145 USD. Both are incredibly value for money. Top tier leather in construction. They are no doubt top quality product in a reasonably affordable price tag. So in terms of affordability, I give both a 9 out of 10. And overall, the Lincoln Loafers get a 9 out of 10. And the hands on Loafers get an 8 out of 10. Definitely recommend them if you're looking for a stylish and classic pair of loafers. If you want to look more polished and want to go with a more versatile option, definitely go with the Lincoln Loafers. And if you want to look a little bit taller, a little bit more rugged, definitely go with the hands-on loafer. And that is it for today's video. If you like this review, make sure to smash that thumbs up button to let me know you're having super dope review, man. Make sure to click on the subscribe button below and turn on the notification bell if you haven't done so already. Have a great day, y'all, and I'll see every single one of you in my next video. Bam!